So in this class, let us do some numerical problems regarding total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue. So from the given table, given table, we have to calculate the total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue. So as we have studied, we can find out the total revenue TR by multiplying the units of output into price. That is how we get total revenue. And again, we can find out the average revenue by dividing the total revenue with the units of output that is sold or that is produced. So total revenue divided by number of units of output is the average revenue. And again, we can find out the marginal revenue by measuring the change in total revenue you know when an additional unit of output is sold so marginal revenue is given by the change in total revenue divided by change in q so delta tr divided by delta q where delta q equals to one so that is how we find out the total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue so with the given table let us try to find out all the total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue so unit of soul is given here from the question it is three four five and six units of output price is given as ten nine eight seven so total revenue would be price into quantity so three tens are thirty four nines are thirty six then eight five ja forty and seven six is forty two so easily we find out the total revenue because price and unit sold is given so again how do we find out this average revenue so we have obtained total revenue so you just divide total revenue with the unit that is sold and what you get is the average revenue so 30 divided by 3 is 10 and again 36 divided by 4 is 9. So again, 40 divided by 5 is 8. And again, 42 divided by 6 is 7. So how we got total uh, average revenue, we divide the total revenue by the units that is sold. So we have discussed that, <coughs> you know, average revenue will be equal to the price. So here it is 10, here is also 10, price is 9 and then average revenue is 9, price is 8 and average revenue is also 8 price is 7 and again average revenue is 7 so in this case price will be equal to the average revenue <clears throat> how do we find out the marginal revenue so the first case it will be nil so marginal revenue we we can find out the marginal revenue by taking the difference of the successive total revenue so 36 the 30 minus 36 is how much 6 so 30 minus 6 36 minus 30 let us see equals to 6 and again 40 minus 36 is 4 and again 42 minus 40 will be 2 so that is how we obtain the marginal revenue so 
that is one example of some solving out some numerical problems regarding total revenue average revenue and the marginal revenue so what you can see from this table is that the price and the average revenue is same but the marginal revenue is different in this case so problem number two <clears throat> so in this question you will find that the question is dealing about perfect competition so a firm is working under a condition of perfect competition in the market you know where the prevailing price of its product is rupees 16 per unit so what we have to find out is the firm's total revenue the average revenue and the marginal revenue you know as the firm expands its own output from unit from one unit to five units so under perfect competition keep in mind so under perfect competition whatever output a firm is selling or producing the price will remain constant price is constant at rupees 16 price will remain same at rupees 16 since it is under perfect competition and number of unit as it is given here from one to five so number of unit given is from one two three four and five units so as the firm expands from unit one to five units what will be the total revenue of the firm the average revenue of the firm and marginal revenue of the firm and we have said that price will be the same when it comes to perfect competition so price is given here at rupees 16 per unit so price would remain the same at all the levels of output that is rupees 16 per unit so given this information we can find out the total revenue because total revenue is price into quantity so 116 is 1 into 16 is 16 2 into 16 is 32 3 into 16 is 48 and then 4 into 16 4 16 4 16 is 64 and then 5 into 16 5 6 13 80 so we have find out we have found out the total revenue of the firm given the unit of output and the price so after obtaining the total revenue now we can easily find out the average revenue because average revenue is nothing but we divide total revenue by the number of output that is produced so one 16 divided by 1 would be 16 32 divided by 2 would be again 16 48 divided by 3 would be again 16 16 and then 64 divided by 4 would be again 16 again 80 divided by 5 is 5 1 to 5 5 6 huh? okay it would be again 16 so again we have obtained the average revenue given the total revenue and the unit of output that is produced lastly how do we obtain how do we find out marginal revenue so marginal revenue again is found out by taking the difference of the two successive total revenue so the first thing total revenue here is let's take the difference between the two successive total revenue 32 minus 16 equals to 16 and then next is 48 minus 32 would be again 16 and then these two 64 right 48 would be again 16 and then now these two 80 minus 64 would be again 16 and with with <laughs> 
here it is supposed to be 16 so here it is 16 and then here 32 minus 16 is 16 48 minus 32 16 and then 64 minus 48 again is 16 and then 80 minus 64 is again 16 so it is all 16 so you should it should be noted that you know in this case of perfect competition under perfect competition or perfectly competitive firm the marginal revenue equals the average revenue so marginal revenue is all 16 and the average revenue will be all 16 that is why because you know the marginal revenue and average revenue will be the same under perfect competition because you know price which is in the absence of you know price discrimination is the same as average revenue and you know and remains the same for a firm working under perfect competition price discrimination would mean a particular firm is selling the same product at different price but here in perfect competition price is the same for all the units of output that is produced that is why the average revenue and the marginal revenue and the price is all same here 16 16 16 all throughout so those are the some numerical problems regarding total revenue marginal revenue and average revenue and with that we have completed chapter 9 that is concepts of revenue of a firm